ask Did you a few questions, okay? Okay. Do you have your ID with you? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, let's go ahead and see that, please. Mm -hmm. so have you guys had any more cases? Yeah, a whole lot. There's if a whole county of everything. The numbers are going up again. Yeah, dang. Those people don't listen. Uh, are you having any symptoms or you just want to get tested? Uh, no, I just wanted to get tested. I haven't been feeling sick, but I I guess you could say I've been around uh, a lot of people. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, so once okay. you are registered, they, they're going to come ahead and come do your test. Okay, uh, sounds good. This is just uh, paperwork. Ask you if you're okay and agree to the terms of where you're going to go ahead and read there, okay? Do you have any pre-existing medical condition? Uh, I did develop asthma, yeah. You did um, develop asthma? Yeah, like when I was like 20, I think. Okay. Are you smoking any? <laughs> no, no well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it could be a factor. Um, okay, so go birth. ahead and call that number, and the sooner you call, the better. You might have to call a few times, okay, since we are pretty busy. Mm -hmm. But they'll go ahead and answer you eventually. Okay. Okay, if you have any questions or need our assistance, go ahead and honk, and we'll come to you, okay? Okay, sounds okay. good, man. All right, I pre appreciate it. So I'm out here getting my COVID-19 test out of courtesy to my family and uh, for people that are out there protesting as well for the Black Lives Matter movement. I know it's an organization, but it feels like a movement right now, given that all the people are protesting nationally. Uh, yesterday was the first time ever right here in La Puente. La Puente is known not to be very politically affiliated with what's going on and you know it's predominantly a working class and uh you know people don't really have time for that kind of stuff let alone their own local politics but uh yesterday you know proved to be something different but even on social media it was being being uh, discouraged to come out and protest they sent out flyers talking about um you know i was going to be a riot and everything and i understand but these are people that are like typically behind their screens behind you know, they're inside their rooms, they're not doing anything, they're not out there protesting. They're just hearing what the media is telling them as far as like all the looting that's happening. So, you know, to them, it's it's something scary and it's something foreign to them. To me, like I know the town, I know La Puente, I grew up around here. I know the kind of people there are around here. So I already knew for a fact it was not going to turn into a riot. Everything that happened was like already a couple weeks ago, almost a week ago. All the retaliation that did occur in a sense was needed because uh, those are areas, wealthy areas, white, mostly predominantly areas that don't hear any of this stuff, that are unaware of what's going on. So that's where the noise needed to be made. It happens, it's, it's a natural process of life. It's human nature. Eventually something's gonna happen. And given that we're in a pandemic, all that festering frustration, you know, of millions of people in unemployment, it's, it's a given in a sense when you have these two clouds just coming in and, and clashing, you see these injustices happening in spite of a pandemic, it's only gonna explode. So it's natural that people feel that they are scared it's, it was bound to happen regardless. Germany, London, everyone, they're all partaking on it. Japan, Asia, so it's multicultural and it was it was something that we needed to do. How are you doing? I'm partaking. Can I get your phone name? Yeah, Emmanuel Salgado. Date of birth? February 13, 1990. Have you been in contact with anybody you know tested positive? I haven't, um, not that I know of, okay. but I think my mom, her co-worker, they just found out that she got COVID. Okay, I'll put them right here. Okay, okay yeah. But uh, they shut down the company and no one's working right now. And my mom just recently got tested. And okay. I, how long do the results come in? Um, about take? a week. Oh, wow, okay. Um, do you have any allergies to medication? Um, no, I, I don't. Not that I know of. Are you working? Currently, just, uh, mm, no, just freelancing. Um, do you live in a house or an apartment? Apartment. How many people, including you? Uh, four in total. How many bedrooms? Mm, four. Four, okay. So you would be fine to self-isolate in case you were to be positive there, okay? Mm -hmm. Have you traveled outside of the country in the last two weeks? Outside of the county? Country. country. Oh, country, uh, no. Did you make your appointment through the county website to come today? I didn't make the appointment, no, I just registered uh, over okay. the phone. Uh, are you an ultimate patient? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you agree to the terms and conditions of the paper they gave you? I understand benefits and limitations of the testing to be performed as indicated. 
I understand that a positive test result will need to be reported to a physician. Okay, I understand that negative test results may change depending on when I was exposed in the course of my infection. I have read the document entirely and realized and retained a copy for my records. I consent being tested for corona infection. Consent receiving emails, uh, acknowledging that I may output fro from communication at any time. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Turn this one for me and look up. Open your mouth. Say out. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. It's alright. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. They'll be calling you if you're positive and sending a letter or an email if you're negative. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay. Hopefully, I get an email then. <laughs> what? If you don't hear from them in a week, you can tell the customer service number for our customers. Mm -hmm. okay. And typically, uh, sometimes you don't even feel symptoms, right? Yeah, or... you can have it and not feel symptoms. Correct. Yeah. There's been patients who have been tested positive and no symptoms at all. So just uh, try to be careful that like, not work. I mean, I'm trying to get your results. Like, try oh. to stay home. Okay. okay. Would this be enough? Like, yeah. what, I, what I have right now? Yeah, but try. If you don't need to go anywhere, Okay, cool. Sounds good. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. You too. This is another drive through COVID testing. Uh, the first time around, it didn't work. It was a, a false test. Uh, they didn't, uh, apparently, they didn't extract enough DNA. So uh, I had to retake it. Um, I don't understand this. I mean, I got an appointment. I don't see why there's like, I have to wait in this long line. I'm about to... That guy's directing traffic over there. These are the... See, these are all self-tests. Like they give them to you and then they expect you to do them. Okay, thank you. All right, so this is my self-test kit that I'm gonna be using to test myself. I got my Q-tip and I've got this solution here, a little bit of water in there for whatever reason, but I'm gonna put that Q-tip in there after I swab this Q-tip around my mouth. Let the cough three, five times. <coughs> That's what it's says I have to cough and all that, whatever. <clears throat> Not the swab. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it. <laughs> 